If you have an iPhone, open your photos app. Click select up top here and choose any amount of photos. I'll pick V6 right over here. Click the share button on the bottom left, add to shared album, name it, send this to yourself and click create and post. Now head on over to the albums tab and you'll see your new shared album show up here. What was the point of all that? Well, according to Apple's official help center, shared albums can store up to 5,000 photos and videos and they do not count against your iCloud storage limit. So feel free to go back and delete the original photos because you can now save and download images from your shared albums anytime you want. You're welcome. Let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff. Come for the practical tips and stay for the free iCloud storage. In this video, I'm gonna share 11 hidden Apple Photos features that will make your life just that much easier. Wrapping up tip number one, if you can't see shared albums by default, you need to go to your settings, photos, and enable shared albums here. Tip number two, Tag your photos by swiping up on any photo and adding a caption. You can now search for this caption in the search tab and other than memes, good ideas include tagging documents you might reference a lot, your ID, driver's license, and one day in the fairy tale land of Narnia, a global vaccination passport. Apple Photos feature number three is for those of you with Apple Watches. If you come across an extremely sexy photo you don't mind seeing every single day, you can actually click the share button in the bottom left here and click create watch face. Now you can choose between a photo's watch face and a kaleidoscope watch face, and you can make further customizations within. In the share menu, if you don't see this by default, you need to actually scroll all the way down, click edit actions, scroll down again, enable create watch face and add it to your quick actions. What if you're like me and simply too cool to own an Apple watch, but would still like a creative background for your iPhone? Not a problem because tip number four is to create an animated background for your lock screen. Pick a live photo you like in your photos app and press share and select use as wallpaper. Uh, adjust it slightly, click set, and set lock screen. Now on your lock screen, if you press and hold, you basically have an animated wallpaper. We're not quite done with making something look good just yet because hidden Apple Photos feature number five is to change your album cover. All you gotta do is select an album under the album tab here, find a photo you actually like, long press and select make key photo. If by default, all your photos are in different sizes, Tip number six is for you and that is to change the aspect ratio by clicking the three dots up top and selecting square. Now everything is neat and tidy. I love how Apple engineers are so inclusive of us high maintenance OCD control freaks. Comment down below if you can relate. Tip number seven is slightly gimmicky but bear with me here. And that is under the for you tab, you can click into your memories and click again to change the background music and filter. Take this a step further by clicking the share button, save video, and now you have a pre-made Instagram story for all your attention seeking needs. So we all know Apple takes privacy pretty seriously, but sometimes we need to take matters into our own hands. Tip number eight is right before you share a photo with family members or needy friends who you didn't invite to the party last night, you might wanna click options up here and turn off all photos data and location because if you don't, they will receive the location data associated with this photo. Speaking of keeping secrets, you probably already know you can hide any photo you want with Apple Photos and to be absolutely safe, you can go to settings photos and turn off the hidden album. What you might not know is that you can take this a hundred steps further by sharing the image to your notes app, going to the notes app and locking that note with face ID. Now, even if the original photo is deleted, that image will still be in your notes app. Please note, you should not view anything in this video as relationship advice and I am not responsible for arguments between couples, suspicion among friends, and any broken hearts. Tip number 10 is to use the filters option up top here to quickly find photos you favorited, edited, and or videos you've taken. You can also quickly access your favorites and specific media types in the albums tab directly. And Apple Photos feature number 11 is to convert photos into a PDF file by first selecting however many images you want and sharing your selection to the Apple Books app. Within the Books app, you can now mark up the file like you would any PDF and share it with others. 
This is a great little hack if you're taking photos of medical insurance forms or other documents that can only be accepted in a PDF format. Let me know down in the comments if I missed any Apple Photos feature you use all the time. See you on the next video, and in the meantime, have a great one. <laughs>